Hi guys, my name is Kevin Nguyen and this is my final project for Intermediate Embedded Systems course here at UCR. And this is going to be a more in-depth video of uh, the choices I made on designing this project and how I came to do it. So first off, we can look at the components. I have two Atmega 1284 microcontrollers, three buttons, a two-axis joystick, a buzzer, and five of these uh, micro servo motors. So first off, these, uh, these two um, eyeballs here are controlled by this joystick, whether it looks left or right, it will correspond. So the way I did it was this joystick reads in an ADC value, and um, I just uh, first I output it to a bank of LEDs to determine what the value was. I believe for this particular joystick it is somewhere around 509 or 510. So this value will vary depending on the joystick because these are kind of cheaper joysticks and they're not really calibrated to a standard. So you got to check before you um, base any values off it. So I just checked this base value. Currently we are in rest, so it's at 509. If I go to the left, it will be less than 509. If it's to the right, it'll be greater than the 509. And so I just have a simple um, simple checker to see what the value is. And if it's less, then we look to the left. And if it's more, then we look to the right. And so next up, we have these um, eyelids that I attached to uh, two more motors. Um, these were not able to go on the face itself because I made some um, errors when I was measuring and cutting out my my cardboard. So they're on the side here, but they work well. Every four seconds, they they rotate and blink, and they open up again. So this simulates blinking. Uh, well, I didn't mention before, but these are um, if this focuses. This is the SG90 micro server. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, so these blink every four seconds, and it you can also control it with this photoresistor I have here. So if it detects less light, it will actually close these eyelids until more light is detected. Um, so this is just an added uh, functionality to these eyelids. Uh, it is a little buggy, something to do with the timing because these run on a 20 millisecond uh, PD PWM cycle with an active duty of one to two seconds or something like that. So this kind of messes it up a little bit and it was not something I was able to debug in prior to the, uh, the finish of this project. So next up, we can move on to the mouth portion of the project. Um, so we have three buttons here controlling the mouth and we have a buzzer. So this top button here, you can manually open and close and control the mouth and it will emit a tone every time you open and close the mouth. And then these two buttons here control two different songs. You can choose what song you want and the song will be output on this buzzer right here and the mouth will actually synchronize with the tunes that are coming out of the buzzer. And so the way I achieved this was I had a bank, I defined a lot of frequencies, and then I just pass it through here. You can see this song here is simple, it's probably about 20 notes. It's frequencies, uh, there's like a note here, a pause, a note, a pause, and then this here is the duration of how long the note should be played. And this here, this array here is um, how much time you should give between each note because if you don't give a pause between each note then it will just kind of all slur together and not really be, be um, individual notes but more of one long uh, varying note that goes up and down in frequency. So we can go ahead and turn it on and demo it. So I can turn on the system. We can see here that uh, these should blink after four seconds in. There we go. Open and close. And then we have this a joystick that we control left and right and so we can go ahead and see now if this photoresistor actually works so right now it's it, there's a lot of jitter right now but as I close it it just kind of vibrates because of that timing issue I was talking about so maybe we can try again um, you can see that they want to close but there's something going on here so we can just leave that be for now we can move on to the mouth if I press this button <laughs> You can see it opening and closing, so why don't we go ahead and play this last song here and we can listen to the music while the mouth synchronizes with it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, more in-depth video about my project and if you have any questions you can refer to my email in the description below. Thank you!